I'm uh, Mark Ringer. I'm a professor of theater at uh, Marymount Manhattan College in New York City. My areas of specialization are, are Shakespeare, opera, theater history in general, but particularly ancient Greek theater. I fell in love with it when I was a high school student. Uh, I worked with a high school teacher on a project. This was in the mid to late 1970s. And this, this teacher, Irving E. Cox, Jr., whom I have dedicated my new book on Euripides to, he had in mind, he was very concerned about passing on the, the, the heritage of Western civilization. And he created these literature tapes. And that's where I came in, because I was this young budding actor in high school. And he would do literature tapes of drama. And so you would have Aeschylus, Sophocles, Euripides, and Aristophanes, and even uh, you would do Plautus and a little Seneca. He would be looking at all of these out of date, out of copyright translations that we could use. And that began to get my classical juices going because I would read these, these what were really horrible translations. They were very old-fashioned, hundred-year-old translations, and want desperately to make my own translations. For, for anybody, when you learn a new language, you get to a point where you begin to love a civilization and love a culture, and suddenly you really want to understand it on its own terms as much as you can, to, to, try, to, to try to learn the language and, and then to make your own translation. That was my original goal. And that stuck with me through college. I was a theater major. We had a language requirement at UCLA. And I took Greek. I, I somehow got through it. I don't know how I did. Uh, it was the hardest thing I ever did in my life. Um, but I got passing grades and then went on to my first project, which was to read the Bacchae of Euripides, because that is what that was the work, I think we all have a work that makes us uh, fall in love with a particular civilization or with, a, with the classics. And the Bacchae to me, I remember reading it and I was just so astonished by it. And I think also, you know, being a teenager, all, the, all the, the, the hormones that are running wild in the Bacchae also probably appealed to me, though I wasn't psychologically aware enough to, 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 to know that. But the great beauty of it also appealed to me and the shock of the play. The play has such stunning reversals in it. And so I set my project as being to translate the Bacchae right after I'd finished Introductory Greek. And I did it. We staged that production. I played the second messenger in it. Of course, it was the definitive production of the Bacchae. Not, not. <laughs> but it was the definitive experience for me personally in coming to grips with the Greeks. That I proved to myself that I could do it, and I built up a real proficiency then with the language because I was dealing with this beautiful play and really learning how, beginning to learn how the Greeks expressed themselves. And that stayed with me through uh, college and graduate school. I always kept up my Greek on the side when I could because my great love is the theater in general. Uh, I didn't want to just narrowly specialize in the Greeks. And so I, I uh, sought degrees in theater, literature, history. I kept the Greeks with me and my, my doctoral dissertation was on Sophocles uh, and that became my first book.